And Joe, the week that was almost undefeated since the last time we recorded the Mets pod, which was in the middle of the day on Tuesday, the Mets have only lost one game. Grimis then threw out the first pitch and the rest was history. This team is scorching hot right now. The offense is alive basically in every single part of the lineup. I mean, is it just coincidence? The City Connects have a little purple in them. Grimace comes and throws out the first pitch. And now everything, Joe, that we have complained about for months has reversed course. I still don't quite grasp why Grimace was there in the first place. I figured McDonald's is bringing back the Grimace shake. I Googled that. They are not bringing back the Grimace shake. So I have no earthly idea what brought Grimace to City Field. Uh, was it just there's a little purple in the City Connect jerseys? If that's Close the case, to his birthday. Oh, all right. Fair enough. But what I'll say is uh, whether it's Grimace, it's not Grimace, whatever, man, sports are intended to be fun yes. at its core and have fun with this. And it works out that the Mets are winning baseball games. If the Mets were playing like they were playing two weeks ago and Grimace throws out the first pitch, it's just another that's so Mets thing of, oh, of course, the Mets have a McDonald's character throw out a first pitch and now they're getting their butt kicked by San Diego and you know, uh, Miami and everything. But look, this is this is what we wanted. I mean, I'll be honest, it was a bit of a, a bummer doing, you know, the last couple of shows where it was so heavily focused on what can the Mets get for their players at the trade deadline. And I do have those two voices over my shoulders. I have the prospect guy that's like, just think how sick the farm system could be. And then the actual just Mets fan is like, can we win? I'd much rather win baseball games. So uh, this is a, a much better vibe show, I think, than the last couple of. 